Jesus, everybody. Man, it's on her. Man, it's on her. Another week, week 13. And y'all know who I have with me. My main man, Military Jane. Man, I don't know. What's going man, on, Bobby? Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. Before you come in, have you caught in the fish yet, man? I'm going to go fishing at the beginning of the year. <laughs> hey, man, so your backdrop look like you've been catching some good fish, boy. Hey, I'm, I'm going at the beginning of the year. I might, I might go, I might go later on. Okay. I mean, I'm okay. right here by the water, so I, I might just go ahead and go. Okay. Fish, since you're going to try to scare me, I know you want some fish. <laughs> boy, I'm going to tell you something, boy. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, you know the best time to eat fish? The day before we hit a holiday. That's the best time to eat fish. Okay, and, okay. I keep that in mind. Especially like, especially like when it starts getting a little chilly outside. But you find that okay. hot grease. Oh yeah. But you get that hot Ain't grease. Like tells, but hey, 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 you you find somebody that know how to cook some good grits without them jokers starting to knot up in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And also you make sure you tell them to learn how to learn to lay some fish too, man. Man, we don't eat the dirt oh. bones no more, man. We ain't got you got to the do whole all that. head on there and everything. <laughs> exactly. The tail, exactly. you crunch on like yeah. your chips. Hey, hey, man. But before I get to this week thirteen, man, I want to throw a curveball at you real quick. Hit me. Did you see this with with their LeBron James the other night? <laughs> yeah. So. The elbow was vicious. Oh, hey, I'm going to tell you this here. That elbow he threw. That elbow he threw. He threw that thing purposely. That, yeah. That should have been at least a, a three to five game. You know, the last time I seen the elbow thrown like that was Carl Malone, the mailman. <laughs> he threw a right. mailman elbow. That was like express mail. Right. Right, right. Hold on, hold on, just a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, you killing, you killing me with that right there, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm back. Hey, hey, oh, uh, but, but let me. Ask you, you know, the most funniest thing about it was it had nothing to do with the elbow. You know, I'm thinking about all the legends that ever played. No, 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 no. I, I'm thinking about all the legends ever played. Every. You know, you know, every guy say they was the, you know, that they was the, they was the goat. And I remember everybody, you know, that I ever known, I have gotten a fist fight. Right. LeBron ain't got no fist fight yet. You see how you scared? He threw the elbow, but he didn't want to put them knuckles up. I don't know, man. Maybe he worried more worried about his brand. Then you know his street cred, if you will. Hold on, I don't hold know. on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you something. Now, if I've been Dennis Rodman, oh, Rodman would have put them things on him. Well, well, they put it this way. I've never seen everybody had to, his whole team that was out there had to get in front of him. You know, you know, you know when you out there to the park. And you got a guy want to fight you, but you go with the other side of the court. You got all your whole over there. <laughs> yep. And then you start hey. talking trash. You know hey, what's hey. funny about it? He was just standing all calm, like right by the ref, of course. Hey, exactly. Just chatting it up. Hey. Ask where you going to dinner at. He ain't even worried about you, boy. Hey, no, no. Oh, he was. That's the reason why he was way over there. Because he didn't want none of that heat, man. He didn't want none of that. He, man, I bust that jump of eyelid, man. And how he going to run? Man, I'm going to tell you. Now, now, I never seen no other player. Man, I'm going to have to get some highlights on this, man. I never seen no other player that committed foul that viciously and got so much separation. <laughs> Nah, because just think, when Shaq and Charles Barkley went at it, they was toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah. 
You know, I can just imagine. You know, I'm thinking about Bird and Dr. J. I'm thinking mm -hmm. about Magic. Uh, Magic Johnson and um, uh, 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 my man with the Pistons. I'm thinking about everybody that done got in the fight. Kobe, thinking about, I'm thinking about all these guys. Ain't nobody run. No, and you got to remember, some of them guys were playing with people like Rick Mahorn. Exactly. Come on, hold on. Charles Oakley. Hold on. <laughs> man, man, I said to myself, that man's soft. That's what I said. But we're going to come with our NBA coming soon, but not right now. Man, we're going to get to this first, man, this first matchup, man. Mm -hmm. Cowboys at the Saints, man. Woo. Against my better judgment, I'm probably going to go with the Cowboys, but I'm going to put an asterisk there because I think they're losing their best left guard or left tackle. You know, left guard. They're losing their, they lost their left guard. And it's really going to be reminiscence of how they play week 12 is going to really dictate the terms, whether or not they, they got a suitable fill-in uh, for that lost uh, guard. I'm not sure. So uh I think I'm gonna go with the Saints. Okay, 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 okay. Well, 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 I ain't going against I mean, I ain't going against that Dak Prescott week 13. So we finna move to the Buccaneers and the Falcons. Now you know that's always that's always a tough game for the Buccaneers. Always. Yeah, that's a division game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, but they playing them a little early this year though, right? Yeah, normally they well, yeah, normally they pay them like the last. They normally had a Falcons, Saints, and Falcons, or the Saints, Falcons, yeah. Saints. So yeah, they normally yeah. play those at, toward the back end. So they playing them a little early this year. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Buccaneers now. I'm gonna say this, and I know a lot of Falcons fans gonna not gonna like it, but. They should have got rid of Manny Ice two years ago. He is killing their cap. They was fortunate enough to get a trade partner to get rid of Julio Jones because of his contract. But Matt, uh, Matty Ice is killing them. I mean, he is killing them. They can't even rebuild that team because of his contract. Well, well, I think they got bad management, but I'm not going against no darn Buccaneers with no Falcons. So I'm going with the Bucs, mm -hmm. man. You know, I don't have too much to say, you know. Uh, you know, the Bucs are not my favorite team, but they my home team. So I got to go with the Buccaneers. All right, all right. So we finna move Chargers at no Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals. Even though the Chargers playing good ball, I think I'm gonna go to the Bengals. I think I'm, I, I'm I'm leaning towards the Bengals. I like uh, what they're doing, um, and I just think the Chargers got a couple of holes that they haven't yet to fill. So I'm going with the Bengals. Didn't didn't um uh, didn't the Bengals fool you about a couple of weeks ago? Yes, they did. Yep, they upset me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, Chargers, Bengals. You know, I I want to see the Bengals do good, so I'm gonna take the Bengals, even though even though the Chargers still haven't found their way fully yet. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, this next game we're gonna talk about, and I know I've been telling you this ever since about week four, week five. Broncos at the Chiefs. And mm. I told you, and I told you, the Chiefs going to make the playoff. You did. And and I know the last three weeks, the Chiefs is only allowed like 10 points a game on their defense. 
Yeah. So it looked like they don't correct those problems on defense. It appears that they have. Now, if uh, Mahomes can not throw as many interceptions, they'll be doing because right now I think he's leading the league in interceptions with eleven. Yeah, but but yeah, but you know we always say about them type of quarterbacks like that. All they got to do is get there. All they do to put yep. together is three games. Three games. That's it. Three games. Any in the big day. Uh, so you going with the Broncos, get them Chiefs, man, because because you ain't went with the Chiefs all year. Nope. I'm going with the Broncos. Oh, I'm my not goodness. going with the Chiefs. Okay. Okay. So so if the Chiefs win, mm -hmm. are they a playoff contender? Yes. Okay. 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 If, okay. If okay. they win. Okay. 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 So, so, so let's move on to your favorite team. Well, another one of your favorite teams. The Ravens at the Steelers. Whoo, that is going to be a, that's an emotional game. Steelers, they don't like the Ravens. Uh, Ravens don't like the Steelers. So, uh, I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going to the Ravens. I just don't see. I don't think the Steelers are going to be able to jail fast enough uh, to pull that off. But I would be surprised, but I'm definitely going with the Ravens. Okay, okay. Well, well, well And I think the Ravens are probably well, a nice, a nice backup quarterback. So Well, I don't like nothing about the Ravens. Nothing. 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 I thought you liked Action Jackson, man. Uh, um, Action Jackson. Oh, the, what that action thriller of the eighties or the nineties? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, man! I don't see enough of those type of quarterbacks. They don't last long. They don't. I they agree. never last long. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Steelers, man. You know, I've been a Franco Harris man since about 1975. But I know he ain't played. I know he ain't played for the Steelers since probably 1981. No, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Franco, my bad. 83, my bad, Franco. So I'm going to take the Steelers, man. I, you know, like I told you to begin the season, you know, I think, I, I think, Big Ben have everything he need until this season's over. Then he need to shut the doors. So you saying this should be his last season for Big Ben? This better be his last season. It not should be. This better be. <laughs> See, here's the problem. Brady done gave all these aging quarterbacks hope that they can play like he playing at that level. Probably gonna stick two, three seasons. Okay, okay. Well, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna comment on that, but I would tell you this here. Yeah. We know what Brady been looking like the last couple of weeks too. Yeah, hey, we played some pretty <laughs> good defense, but those some of those some of those defenses, man, they 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 are they got his number. Ooh. But, the season ain't over. No, no, no. Man, so we finna hit that game of the week, man. And and this may be one of the best games I've seen in maybe the last two or three weeks. The Patriots yep. at the Bills. Yep. Woo! I love me some Matt Jones. I'm oh going with the God. Patriots oh, all day. Well, yeah. Man, I don't like Bill that. Bill's making hard to pitch, man. But the, hey, you got to remember, they, they still got Belichick. Yeah, but I think that blueprint is out on the Bills, man. I, I, I really think that blueprint is out. I do, too. I really so like the blueprint I, I really out on the Bucks and the blueprint out on the Chiefs. I really think the blueprint is out on the Bills, man. But, but I'm going to take the Bills anyway, man, because I'm not a Patriots guy. 
ever since, ever since the Patriots played my St. Louis Rams back in what? 2000? 99, mm -hmm. 2000? Greatest show on turf? Yeah. Under, when they had the film crew. Mm -hmm. Filming all they shit. Yep. Spaggy. Billichick. Bill, hey, Belichick been a, a cheat his whole damn like just look at it. You know what they say? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Oh my goodness. Well, well, everybody can't cheat. Everybody can't <laughs> cheat. But I'm gonna tell you, uh, we we done had all the way up to week 13, we have had some great weeks <laughs> predictions. But but I'm going to give y'all something, though. Uh, starting week 14, mid-military for the start keeping eye on wins and losses. And whoever wins for the last three weeks of the season, that Padron 1926 go to somebody's hand. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so... So everybody, the rules are week 14, week week 15, week 16, week 17. That's going to be four weeks before we're able to decide who our playoff contenders or even our Super Bowl contenders may be. So that mm -hmm. when, uh, you know, everything going to really narrow it down this year because this is going to be a hell of a run down at the end of the season. But but everybody, you know how we use it in this show, man, because I like to kill my man military on this one. Man, we finna stay cool. We stay dry. Yeah, but I got to back it up one more time. I'm finna say it again. Stay cool, because it's cold in the <laughs> And we stay dry. <laughs> oh, I ain't going, but I'm going to tell you, the best thing we do, we smoke what we like. We smoke what we like. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Yeah.